Hey guys, it's Jonathan. So with everybody out there claiming to be an expert at trading stock options, I want to give you five real tips that will really help you. When you're trading stock options, you need to understand that these are not really built to speculate. They're not really built to guess is the stock going to go higher or lower. What they are, they're all about volatility. So here it is, five tips that'll help you be a better stock options trader. The first thing is going to be intrinsic value versus extrinsic. Now, this might sound very straightforward, but you really need to understand it. And we're going to look at Resolute Energy Ren, a stock that I think is just going higher. So I'm on Thinkorswim. What Thinkorswim does is it colors the intrinsic and it leaves black the extrinsic. Okay, so what I do is I think of extrinsic as fluff. It's not real. So Ren 3524, we're in March, 65 days to go till expiration. Let's look at the 32s. And let's look at the 32s and let's call them $5, okay? Just mid-market. That's in the money. Now, the intrinsic is gonna be real. That's gonna be stock. So this is actually in the money and then out of the money. So the intrinsic is gonna be real. So 32 strike, $5, 32 plus five equals 37, right? 37 minus, so I just did the 32 strike minus five, the amount it's worth, plus five, so that's 37. Now if we do that subtracted by the last trade, 35.24, we're gonna get $1.76. So for this option, five is gonna be intrinsic, and then $1.76 is gonna be our extrinsic. Okay, very important. That's the number one thing you gotta understand, intrinsic, versus your extrinsic. And extrinsic, guys, it's not real, it's just fluff, okay? Now the next thing that I'm gonna do, number two, is I'm gonna talk about calls and puts. Put call parity, very, very important for all option traders to understand. So let me clean this up a little bit. And this is where it starts getting a lot of fun because as a market maker on the floor of the Chicago Board Options Exchange, one of the important lessons that you learn is that calls and puts are the exact same thing. An option is an option is an option. So we just went through this exercise, right? Where we determined that five is the price that we used. Okay, for right here, it was five. And we determined that out of that $5, we had a dollar seventy six that was extrinsic, and then the difference is going to be intrinsic, and the difference there is going to be three dollars and twenty four cents. Three dollars and twenty four cents. If we add that to the strike thirty two, we're going to get thirty five twenty four, and you'll also realize that. 35.24 is the last price, right? Put call parity. That's gonna tell us that the 32 strike, $3.24 of it is intrinsic, right? Back to lesson one. The, the rest, the extrinsic $1.76, that's all fluff, right? It's not real. Well, now what I want you to do is go over and look at the put side. So if we take this off, and we decide or we determine that without a shadow of a doubt, this is fact, there's a dollar seventy-six of extrinsic value in that 32 strike call. Well, guess what that put is worth? A dollar seventy-six. Isn't that cool? So that way you can look at the extrinsic of the calls. And since the puts are all extrinsic, right? Because it's all out of the money. There is no 
intrinsic, it's $1.76. So what market makers are gonna do is they're gonna value these at five, if they, if they value the calls at $5, the puts are valued at $1.76. If they can buy it for $1.60, $1.65, that's a good trade. If they could sell it for $1.85, $1.90, that's a good trade. That's how market makers are gonna back into the value. So we covered intrinsic, extrinsic. Then we covered put call parity, the relationship between calls and puts. Let's get on to number three. The third lesson is gonna be options or stock. Options are just a derivative of stock, okay? Ren Energy 3524. Let's say the 40 strike calls right here, let's buy them for $1.50, okay? We'll do a phony baloney trade. We're gonna buy them for $1.50. Now, we know we have 65 days until expiration. If we buy 10 of these for $1.50, 10 times, I want you to look at it like you're long 1,000 shares of the underlying stock. That's all you are. You're long 1,000 shares of REN. In order for you to make money on this trade, you need REN to get above 40. If you get above 40, these are automatically gonna be exercised per exchange rules. As long as it's one cent in the money, they're automatically exercised and you are gonna be long 1,000 shares. You paid $1,500 for the position because it was $1.50, 10 times 1,500. So in order to break even on this trade, what we're gonna to need to do is we need to get to $41.50. $41.50 is our break even point. Above $41.50, it's all gravy, we're long 1,000 shares. That's how I want you to look at these options. Last trade, 35.24, if it trades 37, 38 at expiration, well, you're not long 1,000 shares because you were never in the money. This is all fluff, remember? It's not real. It's only real once that stock gets above that strike price. So for the fourth lesson, let's talk about position management. This is something I talk about with the members all the time. It's the most important part about options trading by far. REN 3524. Let's say we're long the 40s. Let's be long 10 of them again. We're long the 40 strike 10 times, $1.50. And now let's say Ren is at 35 and goes all the way to 45. Okay, last trade 45. We bought these for $1.50. Those for $1.50, when the stocks at 45 are gonna be worth at least $5. Okay, because that's intrinsic, that's stock. It has to be worth at least $5. If there was no volatility and we were expiring in one second, It'll be worth exactly $5, but there's time. So the time is gonna be the extrinsic plus whatever extrinsic there is in the option. What I like to do, if you're long a thousand shares, instead of covering, guys, just sell 300 shares. It's the same thing as taking off three options, but don't take off three options, keep those options, and just sell the stock. If you sell the stock, if the stock goes back down, buy the stock back, you just scalp 300 shares and you never touched your options. This is called scalping gamma. It's really important. It's something that we cover all the time in the Active Day Trader membership. I'll give you one more and the final one's gonna be on Greeks. And I see people teaching about Greeks there are like 997 products with no return policy that teaches you the Greeks. I'm gonna teach you the Greeks right now in about one minute, okay? Delta Gamma Theta, Vega Rho. Rho is interest rates, ignore it, it doesn't matter, it's not gonna change the price of your options. Delta, Delta. I want you to think of Delta as the probability of your position ending up in the money. 24s, a dollar Delta, the market is saying that there's a 100% likelihood that REN ends up above 24 within 65 days. 24 
Well, 3529 minus 24 is going to equal 1129. These are worth 1129 with the puts worth zero. 1129 intrinsic. They really shouldn't have any extrinsic. That's delta. Gamma is the amount that your delta is going to move. Theta, that's time. The 37 strike are going to lose two cents per day for the next 65 days. That's how much theta is in there. The opposite of theta, this is a little more advanced, is gamma. And then vega is volatility. It's actually the amount that volatility moves. So if volatility is at 30%. And the VIX goes higher, so the volatility in REN goes to 31%. The options are going to add six cents of value because that's what the Vega is. That's it, guys. That's Greeks in a nutshell. The opposite of theta is gamma. Use delta for the probability of your position ending up in the money. Vega is really only going to matter if you're trading volatility, which is delta neutral. Most of you aren't, so don't worry about that. And Rho, unless the 30-year spikes 5% in one day, ignore Rho. It's not going to affect your options position. So there you go. What I try to do, guys, is I want to simplify options for you. There's too many people out there teaching who have no clue what they're doing. Simplify. It's a matter of learning the right way. Don't get suckered into all the nonsense out there and people with all the fake promises. Okay? You guys know better than that. Learn the fundamentals of the market. Hope you're great. If you have any questions at all, email me, support at Active Day Trader. I'm happy to help. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.